Hey, I'm Kevin, founder and CEO of MEM. And over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can actually get meeting notes created for you in MEM after every single meeting automatically. So we're gonna begin with our integrations page over here on the left and jump into Zapier. And what Zapier is, if you're not familiar with it, is it's a platform that allows you to connect over 8,000 apps to each other. And we have a Zapier integration built specifically for MEM, so you can connect over 8,000 apps to MEM and create notes automatically based on those integrations. So we're gonna start by clicking on connect and we're going to today connect an app called Fireflies, which is a meeting bot that can join meetings you're in and automatically transcribe and take notes for you. Uh, and we're gonna connect that Fireflies to MEM. So if we go in here and we search Fireflies and we click into that, we're just gonna say that anytime there's a new meeting, we want to mem that meeting. And memet is an action in Zapier that basically means take this information, take this input, and automatically format it into a note and organize that note for me. And so memet uses AI behind the scenes to actually turn that unstructured information you give it into a beautiful and organized note. So we're gonna connect these two things together and let's set it up. So you'll see right here in this editor, we already see the two steps, Fireflies and Mem. We actually already have this one connected. I set this up earlier, the Fireflies portion of it. So in your case, if you are new to Fireflies, you'll need to create a free account and set that up. But once you have that set up, it says configure. You actually don't really need to set anything up here. So we'll just hit continue. And then we're gonna test this step in the workflow. So we just click test and you'll see that it found actually a recent meeting that I had earlier today. And so this is the information that we'll be using to test this whole workflow with. And just for context, this is a meeting that was an internal team meeting about um, a MEM Chrome extension, a little Easter egg, but something that we're working on. So I'll hit continue with that selected information. And now the fun part, we get to configure step two, which is Memet. So with Memet, uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll actually connect the account. So this one, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll hit uh, connect a new account. You'll get a little pop-up that looks like this. Zapier wants permission to access your mem account and you'll just click allow access. This window will automatically close and you'll see that now we're ready to hit continue. And the memet API or the memet step that we have here has a few different fields that we can fill information into. The first one is input, and this is actually the only required field, which is what's the information you want to throw at MEM that MEM is then going to transform into a note. And if you think about it, Fireflies generated a bunch of information from that meeting. And so we want to take the information that Fireflies generated and use that as the input for MEMIT. So we're going to hit this plus button and bring in some fields from Fireflies. So we're going to pick the title of the meeting. We'll pick the date that the meeting happened on. We'll pick uh, actually a special one that they have called list shorthand bullet. I like this one because it's a pretty comprehensive, you know, version of the transcript of the meeting itself. So we'll inject that right there. We'll actually also bring in the action items from Fireflies, which are the next steps of the meeting. And then we'll bring in the transcript URL. And you'll notice I'm not being too particular about how this looks. These are just each you know, field on their own line. I'm just trying to choose what information gets put into MEM. The reason I'm not too worried about formatting is because what MEM is gonna do is it's gonna use AI to automatically take these fields and format them into a nice note. Now that's the default behavior, but I can actually customize it further and we're gonna do that here with this instructions field. So let's say I have some opinions about how I want this thing to look inside of MEM, I can actually just describe it here naturally. So let's say I wanna say, turn this into a nicely formatted meeting note. The title should be formatted as meeting title, and then I want it to say month, day, year. Include a section for notes and a section for next steps. 
the next steps should be all check boxes. I want them to be a to-do list that I can check off once it's in mem. And let's also say, make sure to include a one sentence TLDR at the top of the note and a raw link to the meeting transcript at the bottom. So instructions is really this way to communicate how do you want mem to interpret the input and turn it into a note for you. Now, once mem creates the note, it will actually also organize it for you. And so it'll look at the content of the note to decide how should I organize this. But there's this optional field called context where if you have additional information that you want to provide mem to help it with organization, you can. And so I'm just gonna write here, this is a meeting about, and Fireflies actually has a field called keywords. So we're gonna bring that in and say, this is a meeting about, and it's the topics of the meeting in this case. And then the last thing here is timestamp. So if I just set up the zap and I leave the timestamp blank, anytime this runs, and in this case, it's gonna run at the end of a meeting when Fireflies has created that transcript, it's gonna create a note in mem at that moment in time. But for this use case, I actually want the created date of these notes to be the date that the meeting happened. So in this case, you know, I actually want it to map to the meeting date. And so here for the timestamp, I can actually type in date and bring that in also from Fireflies. So let's hit continue. And now it's showing me that I have it all set up where it's gonna have the timestamp of the event, all of the input fields that we gave it, the instructions, as well and that extra context. And so I can actually click here now, this button that says test step, and it'll run through this part two of the zap, which is actually running the memit function. And behind the scenes, what mem is doing is it's taking the input that I've given it, it's taking the instructions, it's interpreting that and creating a note based on that inside of mem. And then it's also looking at the context to automatically organize it into one or more collections um, that I already have in mem. And if it identifies that I should actually have a new collection that I didn't already have, it'll create that collection for me and add the note to that collection. So you'll see it said it was done. And now we can go check out and see what happened inside of mem. So we come back here and we're actually going to uh, jump all the way back to our uh, notes page, which this little recorder is blocking my view. So we'll click on that now. And you'll see it's sitting right here at the bottom. So Chrome extension design review. And it's not at the top of the list because if you remember, I actually wanted it to be um, inserted at the timestamp of the meeting. And so this meeting happened at 12.30 PM today. And so you'll see it's here at 12.30 PM. So we have the note. It's formatted exactly as I wanted it to with the name and the date here. It was actually automatically added to a few collections. And if I jump into it, you'll see there is that one sentence TLDR at the top, a bunch of bulleted meeting notes, and we've even got that checklist of next steps that now we can interact with directly in MEM. And so just like that, we were able to set up this Zap where now inside of Zap, if I actually hit the publish button and now it goes live, every time I have a meeting, Fireflies will join the meeting, it'll transcribe and take notes, and then It'll connect to mem and using memit, it'll create and leave behind a note for me to actually have access to across search, chat, and copilot in mem.